What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you six, six ways, six, six, whichever way looks better, six ways to have the best skin of your life. Now, if you guys don't know, I had severe cystic acne about three years ago and it's really affected my skin and it's actually really like ignited a passion for like trying to have the best skincare routine and find out all the awesome stuff so this is coming from a place of experience this is what has worked for me um and you know i definitely don't think it's for everyone but there are things that i do believe are things that anyone can follow to have better skin even if you don't have acne or like any other skin issue even if you have like pretty great skin you just get the occasional breakout you can follow these to have the best skin of your life um first off i'll show you this is what i look like without makeup this is what my skin is doing right now and how my skin is and honestly save for i believe like two breakouts and some like little scarring and hyperpigmentation left over from more recent breakouts and my acne scarring. My skin's doing pretty great. Like it's been pretty awesome for the skin that I've had in the past. So let me share with you what I do to have this great skin. First off, you need to figure out, and this is like not included in the six that I'm gonna share with you, but if you do are dealing with cystic acne, I recommend that you go get your hormones tested because most of the time it's a hormone imbalance that causes severe, horrible cystic acne. Like if you've tried everything else, go get your hormones tested. It's most likely your male hormones that are out of whack and messing with your skin because that's what happened with me and it happens to a lot of people. So that's the number one thing I recommend when people come to me say, I've tried everything, I have horrible skin, it's cystic, it's disgusting, it's everywhere. I say go see if your hormones are in balance. So yeah, that's out of the way. But if you have gotten over the cystic acne and you're just dealing with the occasional breakout or like even slightly annoying amounts of breakouts, let's hop into what you can do to help your skin be the best that it can be. Number one, and this should be obvious to everyone, but we all need a reminder, water. You need water in your life. You need to drink a good amount of water every day. Everyone is different for how much water that they need. I was told that it's good to take your body weight, like the number of your body weight in ounces, and that's how much water you should be drinking. It's like a hard goal to get to, but it can happen. The only thing is I recommend that you don't just say, oh shoot, I only drank 100 ounces of water today. I still need 30 more and just chug 30 ounces. You need to stretch it throughout the day so that you are drinking enough water at certain points in the day so you remain hydrated, not just, oh gosh, I need X amount of water still today. Let me just chug it. That's not really going to help you because you're honestly just going to pee most of that out. Your body will absorb some, but the rest is going to go right through you. So it's very important to drink lots of water and make sure that you're getting it at adequate points during the day. So yeah, that will like change your life, not only with your skin, but just with your body. It will feel better, but your skin will also be better. The second thing I recommend, which does suck for a cheese lover and milk lover like me, it sucked but you honestly need to get dairy out of your life. Trust me, it has made an insane difference in my skin. I've tried things before like cutting out just milk or cutting out sugar, all that stuff, nothing has made as huge of a difference as completely cutting out dairy. Um, my skin has been amazing. I did have some dairy over spring break, so I do have some residual breakouts. I think I have one here, but you can't really see too bad. But when I do not have dairy, my skin is amazing. I don't break out. And it's like for, for someone who has been focusing on maybe the past year, getting rid of all those breakouts to finally realize that cutting out dairy would do that to me, it's amazing. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you cut out all dairy in your life. You can't just cut out milk because then there's cheese and you can't just cut out cheese because there's milk and um, yogurt and all that. Like you need to be very, very careful with not having dairy. Granted, I still do have like random like 
tiny amounts of dairy like I'll have a little bit of ranch sometimes or I'll have a little bit of chocolate with like dairy in it but as long as you cut out majority I would say like 95% of your dairy you should have way better skin than you did before when you were eating dairy. I know it sucks and I always read it and I was like no I can't give up dairy like I'll deal with it but giving up dairy like it does suck to not have cheese and not have like milk but you know I drink soy milk or almond milk or coconut milk all those it does suck but once you realize how awesome your skin is after doing it you're gonna be like okay Bye dairy, see you later. Don't even need you in my life. I highly recommend that you get some type of hair, skin, and nails treatment or something for your skin. This has, um, this is a gummy from Nature's Bounty. It's the Hair, Skin, and Nails Gummy. You can buy them at Costco because they're a way better deal at Costco. You get 230 gummies for like under 10 bucks. It's amazing. These, you take two a day, they will change your life. First of all, they taste yummy. Like my brother will even just grab for like two if he's needing a little bit of sugar. Like they taste great and like they really make a difference. Like I never had an issue with my hair growing, but it grows even faster and thicker now. My nails go crazy fast and my skin has been really, really great. I even tried this before I completely cut out dairy and it did make a good difference in my skin. It didn't stop with the breakouts, but just my overall skin's appearance was amazing. So these have the biotin that your hair, skin, and nails need, vitamins C and E and natural, like just all the nutrients that your skin, hair, and nails need to be amazing, this stuff has. So I highly recommend it. I'm also trying out a few other products that um, have a lot of those nutrients in it, but I can't recommend any to you now because I don't have a full review on them. But these, any type of like, Thing that has all the nutrients for your hair skin and nails I highly recommend you add into your daily routine because it will change your life and your skin and that's what we're talking about today so the next thing I have to talk about especially to people who have dealt with acne and have that hyperpigmentation but really a hundred percent of people in general SPF you need SPF in your life I don't care if you live in the rainiest city in the world you're still getting UVA and UVB rays hitting your face and you don't want that. <laughs> Ooh, I got a little too excited there. Um, SPF daily is very important. You can use it in your makeup, you can use it in your primer, you can put SPF on your face before you even start your makeup, you can have it in your um, moisturizer, I don't care. You need some form of SPF in your life every day, all day, every day. It's amazing. Use it. Next thing that you absolutely need in your life, no matter your skin type, is exfoliation. There are varying degrees of exfoliation. Um, my skin is oily and needs a lot of exfoliation, so I do exfoliate a lot using exfoliants and like actual like face washes that exfoliate and chemical exfoliants and physical exfoliants, all that. Um, I highly recommend if you have sensitive skin checking out a Konjac sponge. Um, these ones are from Sephora and they do have ones that are like colored so they have specific like ones for cleaning and it has green tea and lavender and the other ones, oh wait, the, okay, <laughs> this is the Calm Pack so one's green tea, one's lavender but you have different types of Konjac sponges or you can just get a basic one. They are gentle enough to use daily. I would recommend for sensitive skin because they're not crazy rough but they still give you enough exfoliation to that your skin needs. Um, you can use like Clarisonic or any type of like brush head to help with those. Another thing that I recommend that I use once a month or once a week sorry is the personal microdermabrasion PMD it will change your life. Um, you could go get microdermabrasion. Anything that you can do to exfoliate your skin and figure out the routine that your skin wants to be in for exfoliation will greatly improve the appearance and the feel and the general just like look and glow of your skin. Exfoliation is for everyone. I don't care how sensitive your skin is. You can find a version of exfoliation that will work with your skin. If you have crazy, oily, and 
non-sensitive skin then you can exfoliate however much your skin needs if you have sensitive skin you may only exfoliate once a week and that's okay but it's very important to exfoliate very 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 important and lastly something that kind of ties into all of them is making sure that you have a great skincare routine and i highly recommend seeing a facialist or an esthetician at least once every two months two or three months so if you see them at least four times a year that would be amazing um or it can be a dermatologist but i recommend an esthetician because they tend to be more not focus on throwing drugs at you <laughs> because my experience with dermatologists is they just love to throw prescriptions at you and you don't necessarily need that. Um, so if you can see an esthetician get a facial four times a year at least, that would be amazing because they're, they are trained to know things about your skin that maybe you haven't picked up on and they are trained to know what will work for your skin. I highly recommend Googling estheticians in your area and reading reviews of people and not just settling for the first one you find or the most expensive one or the cheapest one. You really have to make sure that you're finding the right person for you. And it may take some trial and error. Um, you may find a person, go to them and then be like, oh, never mind. I don't think I want to go to this person, then find another one. But it's very important that you go see someone at least every three months. I like to go, I'm kind of going every two months right now, but you know, just figuring out what works in your schedule, what works for your wallet, but I highly, highly recommend it. And as well, getting your whole skincare routine figured out. Now, I like to try a lot of products because I have a skincare blog and I do like to review things, but I know which things work for me that I can constantly fall back on. If something goes wrong with my skin, oh, I'm falling back on this. Something is like, didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, okay, I'm just gonna start go back to using this. It's very important to get your skin in a nice routine, find the products that work for you, and it will just make your skin so much happier because it's not like freaking out and you know what works for your skin. So you may try something new, but if it doesn't work out, then you can fall back on something. Or if it worked better, then you just found something new. But it's very important to at least keep your skin in like a nice little general routine. So quickly as a review, I'm just gonna hop right over the six things that we talked about. Number one, drink water. Number two, cut out dairy. Number three, have some type of supplements that are beneficial for skin. Number four, SPF. SPF is so important. Number five, exfoliation. And number six, visiting an esthetician and getting a routine for your skin. I cannot tell you enough you follow these six things, I can guarantee you will have the best skin of your life. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you like these six things, if you would add anything, if you would take anything away. You shouldn't take anything away, let me tell you that. And um, yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want, you can subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!